Hello everyone, welcome back to my games from my childhood series. This is Wonder Boy 3, uh, The Dragon's Trap. And this is, in my opinion, one of... No, no, no. I'm actually going to go out on a limb and say this is the best Sega Master System game that ever was made. Better than Sonic the Hedgehog, better than Alex Kidd, better than... I think Shinobi was on this. No, uh, Strider. It, it better than all of those. It's just so good. It's just got so much in it. Alright, so we've just started the game. Basically, you start off as human, <laughs> which is funny, because you go through all different changes throughout the game. Um, this is just like the end. I think this is the end of Wonder Boy 2. Um, so you just got to play it through, you know, it's kind of part of the story. So let's uh, go this way. we got to go beat the final boss. You know, it's the final boss when we're going to beat him up. So let's go beat up the final boss. So. Dude, the music in this is so good for a fucking 8 bit system. Alright, let's do this. Alright, big dragon. Looks like. Technodrome. <laughs> it's like the, it's like what the Technodrome would look like if you fucking took off half of it. And you can see this fucking boss is easy as shit. You just beat the shit out of it and boom. And that little uh, blue thing is going to change us into a dragon in a second, but we want to get all the gold. Don't touch me! <laughs> we want all the gold. We need to buy stuff. Okay, get get all the gold. Come on. It's okay. Alright, it's all gone. Now we change into a dragon. And this is the uh, the kind of theme to this whole game. Is you will... Oh, we just got hit. You will change into different, um, different animals. Different creatures. Which will, uh, in turn, have different abilities. And it's it's just what makes this game so good. It's such a long game for an 8-bit game as well. It's kind of like a little adventure game. You get gold and you buy things and you've got to find secrets. It's just really good. I can't I can't praise this enough. It's the best game on the Sega Master System. And I think and and don't hold me to this, but I think this is the first Sega game I've played for the games from my childhood. Oh wait, no, no I did play Alex Kid as well. Um, but yeah, I mean when I look back to my childhood. Um, and I don't think this has got anything to do with uh, any outside influences like the angry video game nerd who loves Nintendo and all the other people who love Nintendo. But other than maybe Chicky Chicky Boys um, and the Sonic games, I can't think of anything really from the, the Sega library that was really that amazing. Um, maybe Mortal Kombat, but even Street Fighter kind of kicked the shit out of that. Um, so yeah, I, I think I don't really have anywhere near as many good Sega games in my head as I do, um, Nintendo? I'm just trying to think right now, hmm. But anyway, in the game, we're, uh, the dragon, and we've just left the castle, and oh no, we're a dragon, and we're stuck like it. Um, and now, da 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 Proceed with your adventurous undertaking, dot dot dot, Wonder Boy 3. The Dragon's Trap. We were trapped by the dragon. Alright, so we start the game with this dragon guy. And first we're going to go buy something from the shop with the gold we just picked up. Which is always nice. Uh, we can, oops, wrong button. We can get the mithril shield and we can't get the mithril armor unfortunately. So got a lot of stuff. I mean, this is this is really big for, um, what do you call it? Uh, the master system. I mean, fuck. There's an adventure world, and you can buy things. I mean, this is big for for a system where maybe you have like an R type thing. Uh, R type is a game with like shooty stuff. But yeah, this is a this is a lot. I mean, look at this. A secret door. Oh my god, that's so cool. Um. And this game is very, very big, and it's got like little bits that you can go back to when you, when you're maybe, um, I don't know, a different creature. Uh, okay, we can't get through this door because we need a key, so we have to go down here. And uh, yeah, I've played this game so much in my life. I mean, not just when I was a kid. When I grew up and maybe like 21, 22, 23 years old, I'd just download this game and play it for a while because it's such a good game. It's, it brings back great memories from my childhood as well. So we're gonna go this way. Oh, this music. This is one of the best themes in, like, I think the 8-bit library. And that's over the Nintendo and Sega. 
Just listen to that. Do 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 do. It's gorgeous. It's just it just brings back such good memories. Oh man, I remember when I was a kid. I'd, we got stuck on this so hard. The, there was a cheat on this game. You had to put in West One on the uh, the password screen, and you got like infinite money and shit. And we just used to abuse that. I don't think we ever beat this game legit. So maybe I should try and beat it legit here. Uh, the reason we didn't beat it legit is because there's um, these blocks that you can't beat, uh, you can't break. And oh shit, that takes more than one. That takes two hits, three hits. Wow. Oh then. Uh, that block there is a fireball. I'll show you how it works. Uh, so let's put the fireball on. And it goes like that. Press down and jump to use it. And that might seem like a bit like, oh my god Shane, that's really annoying. But um, no, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, and they help with the bosses and stuff. There's like, I think there's fireball, there's arrow. We need the arrow. I'm arrow. Because there's a fucking cloud with sunglasses on. Oh, I just got a revival potion. Sick. Uh, yeah, there's a cloud with sunglasses on that needs killing. So let's. If we can hit this arrow, we'll. Uh, it usually drops a bag of money. So let's try and hit this. Come on, baby. Oh, I missed it. Fuck. I never miss that. Except for on the stream in here. Oh, shit. I'm getting attacked. It's not good. I've only got two hearts, and I didn't buy the mithril armor. I thought I'd be able to buy it, but I couldn't. Alright, so we're here, and the reason we're here is we're going to get this key, and this key will allow us to go through that door at the beginning of the game that I couldn't get through. What's in here? Uh, a couple of things I can't buy. There are, um, in those shops there are things that you can't buy sometimes, and those uh, you can buy if you get charisma, and um, you get charisma by getting these little stones. They randomly drop from enemies. And the more you get, the more items you can buy. I mean, that's that's big for Master System. Fuck. Oh my god, I can kill the thing again. I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, my arrows are on. Okay. Uh, go back. Oh, I got it! Yes! No, it dropped an arrow! Bullshit! It's meant to drop fucking money. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll keep the arrow. Because I am arrow. In the knee. Oh man, these guys are dropping loads of nice items. I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is good. Boink. Boink. There's um, another Wonder Boy game that's actually very good as well. Uh, it's not as good as this, but Wonder Boy 5, uh, it's, uh, I think it's Wonder Boy Monster World, is very good as well. Um, I recommend it if you want to go back and play some good games. It's not as good as this, of course, because this is the best. But that one's... Um, it's up there, maybe top, top 5, top 10 games on the Master System. But this is number one. It's just so good. I mean, God, I've, I've, I'm going on an adventure. I mean, if you don't know where to go, and I know where to go, I fucking I know everywhere in this game. Um, if you don't know where to go, this takes a long time. I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't get around to finishing it, just because I didn't know how to fucking break blocks with the uh, the uh, thunder sword. Anyway, we're gonna buy some armor because we fucking need it. Okay, we got the armor. Let's put it on. Um, so we got our armor and our shield. Uh, if we had a bit more charisma, we could actually buy... Oh wait, no, we could buy a sword. I didn't realise we had enough charisma for that. Uh, so, put on a mithril sword, and that gives us more damage. Uh, we've only got one heart, though, so I need to go heal. So I'm going to use this... Uh, this is the nurse. Look at her, she's like... Hey, how's it going? You, you, next, please! <laughs> okay. Um, and if we look, I'll show you this way. Um, there's a big block here. Now these um, these blocks, the ones that are like checkerboards, um, you can climb up those when you're the mouse, which is the next one to get. Uh, when you beat a boss, you turn into a new monster, uh, a new creature or something. And you, when you're a mouse, you can climb up those, like right there, you can climb up that. You just you just walk on it. You walk upside down and shit. So it just, it just shows how little intricate bits like that go, and it's, it just grants access to different parts of the world and it works really well. So we're gonna go this way across the desert and we're gonna go try and fight the first uh, the first dragon boss. And uh, yeah, this should this should go well as long as I don't die, that'd suck. Um, 
I remember correctly, I should be. I shouldn't die, just because of um, the amount of armor I have. I shouldn't. I don't think I'll get. I don't. Oh wait, I know I can get three hearts. Uh, hearts are actually kind of hard to come by. Um, I think you only get like eight by the in, like the end of the game. And there are some creatures and baddies that do really, really high damage. Like they will take you down to like one and a half, no, half a heart just from full health. Um, so you got to be careful. Oh shit! Just getting tag team there, baby. Um, so it's tough. I'm getting loads of nice stuff. I am. All right, let's get across though. If you go in into those bits, actually, I think I should go. I'm gonna go down there because if you go down to these, you get uh, this special treasure. So I'm gonna use a tornado to see if I can kill it. So let's. Yeah, I killed it. Oh, Baggerman! Oh, I missed the Baggerman. Shit. Okay, I'm very very sure if I go this way. Oh fuck! What am I doing? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, stupid fucking fish. It's like, oh, how's it going? Look, it's so fucking dopey. Look at that shit. Ah. Oh man, it takes two hits now. Maybe I didn't hit it in the face enough or something. Shit! I'm gonna die. I've got two revival potions, but I don't think they always heal to full. And you really want to keep those for the bosses, really. I think the max you can hold is three. Oh shit. 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 Give me a heart. Come on, someone give me a heart. I don't care about money. You keep going underneath. I I'm, I was so sure that we'd already got to the end of this underwater bit. That's why I went down. I think I made a mistake. But anyway, at the end of this, there's... <laughs> at the end of this, there's a little bit of... um. I think there's... Yeah, here we go. What's in here? Money, 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 money. Block, 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 block. Oh, stone. That's good. Oh, I got a revival potion. So, um, one of those stones that give you charisma so you can buy new things in the shops. Um, and of course, you need better stuff so you don't get hurt enough. And so you can one shot them. And of course, the bosses, uh, some of them, I mean, there's. Um, there's one boss that I don't think I've ever beaten my entire life legit. I don't. Th he's just really hard. He's got like the sword, and he just you can't touch him without going near the sword. It's so bad. So you need the best items. Anyway, uh, I think oh, it's the cloud. Hi, cloud. And the clouds usually have a bag of money. That's not very fair. Man, I could play this all day. I really could, and I'm probably going to. I'm probably just gonna record until I get bored. <laughs> Alright, so here, there's a little pyramid, and it's like, oh, you meant to go down there? It's like, no, I'm going over the top because of the heart down the other side. Uh, which is always nice. Just gotta jump all the way up the top. And, man, this game is, I can't, I mean, look at the graphics. This, for an adventure game that's quite big and has a lot of uh, little things, really good sprites, everything, the graphics are really good. They really are. It's great. Uh, I gotta kill this guy. This is one of those guys who. 65 gold, holy shit. That was one of the guys that just does so much fucking damage. And look, he'll he'll be right there and he's gonna fire something at me. If I didn't know that was coming, that'd kill me. He does so much damage. I mean, you can tell by the amount of gold he gave me. He gave me 65. That's enough for a fucking mithril sword and mithril armor with a bit left over for a cheeseburger. I mean, God. Okay, let's uh get back over. At least it's quick to go down, fuck. I hate I hate doing that fucking jumping over the top of there, but it's essential to get the heart. Oh, the cloud. The cloud's after me. Ah, shit. It actually dropped on me. Oh man, it's meant to drop bags of money. Millions of dollars. Okay, so this is our first um, kind of like dungeon-y, temple-y bit. We've got to go up. Um, so let's keep going. Do-do-do. This one isn't very long, if I remember correctly. Played it the other day on stream, so... Oh shit, I almost got hit by that one. And one of the worst things about this guy, about this uh, dragon, is the fact that he has no shield. He's the only one of the, the monsters that has no shield. And it makes it so that if something firing at you, you have to retaliate with your dragon breath. And you've got to do it quickly. Uh, we've got to go get this treasure chest here. It's got a key in it. 
which allows us to get in here, which is always nice. Morink. 